Elliott, and uh, first thing I would like to uh, thank Jen and staff and the library for giving me this opportunity. I really appreciate it. Uh, this is my first book. Uh, I have done some publication uh, work with articles uh, in educational magazines because I taught for 32 years, but this is my first novel and uh, I'm going to give it a shot. This is my novel, We're Not Dead Yet. I'm going to read you a little bit of detail from the cover. Uh, it says, what might the future hold? What if atomic bombs hit Northern Ontario, the Sioux, Bruce Mines, Laird, Deborah, Echo Bay, Thessalon, Rydalbank, Algoma, or anywhere else? Who will survive and who will rule? There's content in here, horror, gore, death, evil, good, war, romance, young and old. The pictures on the front and the back cover are pictures actually taken in these particular areas. I'd like to share with you a few pointers about the novel. Uh, my writing is geared to young adults, but I've had readers in various age groups who enjoy my novel and ask me questions about the details and ideas that I had got. The novel takes place in Algoma about 10 years in the future, after a fictional nuclear bombing hits the Sioux in area. The main characters are categorized by good, evil, and vulnerable, and I try to show how good can prevail in some of the strangest circumstances. The best advice I've ever discovered or been given about writing, uh, always have a small dollar store pocket notebook, something that can fit in your back pocket or your shirt pocket, and a pen on you, and another one near wherever you normally sit, relax, watch TV, whatever, in your home. When an idea comes, jot it down right then before it's gone. Don't wait till later. Writing is like a fire. Sparks spin off and develop new fires, new ideas. While you are reading, watching TV, relaxing, traveling, working, whatever, jot down those sudden inspirations. Something can pop out at the most unexpected moment. Grasp it and run. Also, writing isn't work. It is a reward. I start the day doing chores, necessary projects, taxing household jobs, etc., including doing the dishes, and when done, reward myself and sit down, time to reflect on recent notes, and finalize a portion of my work. Have fun writing. My writing setup is, is really pretty simple. I, I think anybody could have something similar. My writing domain is my Lazy Boy chair and the computer setup on the kitchen table with a Chromebook and printer. No music, just household background works for me. Also, I read a lot, which helps stimulate ideas. Go visit your library. There's lots there to share and get content from. I might get as a spin-off concept from books or actual news events and other things happening around me. Essentially, my novel is self-published. I found an excellent printing company in the Sioux and went for a small printing number initially. A lot of online services want you to buy additional services before they will even print your work. This includes editing, cover design, marketing, etc. It can soon add up to a lot and be very frustrating. I did my own editing and front and back cover design and with my teaching background I felt the editing I could handle myself. But local business, go there first.
If you're looking for a chance to read my book, I have one copy in the library and two that I brought with me today that I'm also donating to the library because I know it's hard sometimes to uh, access if there aren't more copies. Uh, if you want a copy, email, email me at, this is lowercase, Elliot, E-L-L-I-O-T-T -T dot, big L, B-I-G-A-L dot, Alan, A-L-A-N at gmail.com. The cost is $13 and a small portion of that goes to a local charity as well.